The following is a presentation of God Questions Ministries. Is Jesus the only way to heaven? Yes, Jesus is the only way to heaven. Such an exclusive statement may grate on the postmodern ear, but it is true nonetheless. The Bible teaches that there is no other way to salvation than through Jesus Christ. Jesus himself says in John 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He is not a way, as in one of many. He is the way, as in the one and only. No one, regardless of reputation, achievement, special knowledge, or personal holiness, can come to God the Father except through Jesus. Jesus is the only way to heaven for several reasons. Jesus was chosen by God to be the Savior, 1 Peter 2, verse 4. Jesus is the only one to have come down from heaven and returned there. He is the only person to have lived a perfect life. He is the only sacrifice for sin. He alone fulfilled the law and the prophets. He is the only man to have conquered death forever. He is the only mediator between God and man. He is the only man whom God has exalted to the highest place. Philippians 2, verse 9. Jesus spoke of himself as the only way to heaven in several places, besides John 14, verse 6. He presented himself as the object of faith in Matthew 7, verses 21 through 27. He said his words are life, John 6, verse 63. He promised that those who believe in him will have eternal life, John 3, verses 14 and 15. He is the gate of the sheep, John 10, verse 7, the bread of life, John 6, verse 35, and the resurrection, John 11, verse 25. No one else can rightly claim those titles. The apostles' preaching focused on the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Peter, speaking to the Sanhedrin, clearly proclaimed Jesus as the only way to heaven. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Acts 4, verse 12. Paul, speaking to the synagogue in Antioch, singled out Jesus as the Savior. I want you to know that through Jesus the forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. Through him everyone who believes is set free from every sin. Acts 13, verses 38 and 39. John, writing to the church at large, specifies the name of Christ as the basis of our forgiveness. I am writing to you, dear children, because your sins have been forgiven on account of his name. 1 John 2, verse 12. No one but Jesus can forgive sin. Eternal life in heaven is made possible only through Christ. Jesus prayed, Now this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. John 17, verse 3. To receive God's free gift of salvation, we must look to Jesus and Jesus alone. We must trust in Jesus' death on the cross as our payment for sin, and in His resurrection. This righteousness from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. Romans 3, verse 22. At one point in Jesus' ministry, many of the crowd were turning their backs on Him and leaving in hopes of finding another Savior. Jesus asked the twelve, Do you want to go away as well? John 6, verse 67. Peter's reply is exactly right. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. John 6, verses 68 and 69. May we all share Peter's faith that eternal life resides only in Jesus Christ. God Questions Ministry seeks to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ by providing biblical answers to today's questions. Online at gotquestions.org.